Carrie Chalmers. I teach broadcasting and graphic design at Sor Floria Secondary School. I've been teaching for 38 years, and I guess my favorite thing is that every day is different and dealing with young people. Uh, they keep you alive. I don't know, I've always been interested in technology. I became a teacher, like, I had a teacher in high school who sort of excited me about electronics, and I decided I wanted to teach. And I think it's just the way my brain works, one way or the other. In high school, I was. We built our own television studio in high school. We had the only keys to it, the principal and everyone else didn't even have keys, and we ran all the videos that were done in the school. We wired it, and that just sort of started things off. My goal in this school when I was department head and since then is to be expanding the technology offerings to better meet today's students. I had to make a decision of what computers to put in the classroom. I went to a presentation where they unveiled the Lisa, which came just before the Mac, and I have to admit it's the only time in my life where I stood there and I literally had my mouth open. And to me this was just the way of the future, and so when I had to make the decision to put the next set of computers in, I looked at that and thought, that's the way of the future. I was the board's computer consultant, and so I basically put all the computers in the schools and what have you, and after seven years at that job, I came back to the classroom. So they'd finally convinced the Ministry of Education to build a new school. The problem was that no one had built a school in 11 years because there hadn't been any funding. So they hired an architect, and the architect came into us once I'd gone back to the school with the plans, and everyone looked at them and hated them because basically the only thing they built were shopping malls. And so they designed a school that very much looked and functioned like a shopping mall. So being the type of person that always takes on things that are, I'll say stupid in some cases, um, I decided to sit down and try designing schools. And then the principal sort of got a hold of my plans and he really liked them, so he took them to the Board of Education and they said, okay, you've got carte blanche, do it. So I ended up designing it, having an extra wing added in addition to that. Did all the millwork plans for every cupboard, spec where every AC plug was supposed to be, every data outlet, and then during the summer when it was built, I supervised construction and signed off on all the change orders and things of that nature. I think that there's a, a mistake in a lot of schools, even this one, in that a lot of times people, parents and teachers in administration, look at education as being, oh, you've got to go to university, or you've got to have your academics. In other words, English is the number one thing you need, math is the number one thing you need. But the things that you do outside of class and the things you do with your hands and the experiential learning you do weighs far more than the English class you have or the math class. You're not going to remember the verbs you conjugated in French, but you'll remember that time where you did a TV production and our switcher went <laughs> offline while we were on air and suddenly everyone had to scramble and keep the show going. And, and I think the learning skills you have there, or even the learning skills when I was in high school and, and did a lot of stuff in terms of technology, um, I still remember those. I use those every day. Tighten this one up. Weave this one slightly okay, loose. So basically, young people are very creative, very interesting. A lot of trouble sometimes, but that's great too because you get an insight into their life, and it definitely keeps you young because you're dealing with them every day, both in terms of how you dress, how you act, what you say, because you're around that all the time. But also just watching them grow up from grade nine to grade twelve. It's very rewarding. Sometimes hard to go through, but very rewarding and they're great to be around. I don't think there are very many teachers who can say they've actually designed and built a high school and I, I think that goes beyond that because when I built it I put a lot of time into thinking about kids and how kids interact and even this area for example our technical department you don't have to go out in the hall anywhere to get from room to room there's doors and windows and that was designed to make it more like a workplace so I think it's probably my biggest accomplishment other than my kids and stuff like that. You know.